So now let's read Learn with Peppa Pig, Mummy Pig and the Crumble. Today, Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa Pig and her family on a tour of the garden. Hey, look at those huge apples, Peppa gobs. Shall I climb the tree to pick some? Let's shake the tree to get them down, suggested Daddy Pig. They shook the tree to knock the apples off the branches. Mummy and Daddy Pig dodged out of the way as Peppa and George caught the apples in their baskets. They weighed more than I thought, Peppa laughed. Next, they stopped the survey, Grandpa Pig's giant blackberry bush. Look at all these delicious berries, Mummy Pig said, licking her lips. We should pick some to make an apple and blackberry crumble. Yum, said George. George picked a large red blackberry. Ouch, he squeaked. George looked at his sore thumb with a surprised expression. Watch out for the thorn, said Grandpa Pig. There's a knack to picking blackberries. I taught your mother my special system when she was a girl. Grandpa Pig grabbed a gnarly bramble with a hook on his stick and pulled it straight out. But Mummy Pig had ignored Grandpa Pig's special system. She was climbing a tall ladder to reach the largest berries. Don't lean too far over, roared Daddy Pig. That ladder might not hold your weight, warned Grandpa Pig. Don't interfere, said Mummy Pig. I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig stood on the very edge of the ladder and launched for the biggest blackberry of all. The motion made the ladder wobble. Mummy Pig couldn't hold her position. She soared to the air like a gymnast and plunked straight through the middle of the bush. Oh dear, Mummy Pig groaned, peering out. That was a bad decision. I'm wet in here. Did you break any bones, Mummy? Peppa asked urgently. No, said Mummy Pig. I just wish I had used better judgment. Or my special system, muttered Grandpa Pig. Before long, Susie Sheep and Mandy Mouse went past the bush. They looked at Mummy Pig in confusion. Hey, Peppa, said Susie. What happened? Mummy had a, a disagreement with the blackberry bush. Now we are on a mission to rescue her, explained Peppa. I know, Mandy cried. You need a pair of head clippers. Daddy Pig fetched a pair of head clippers from Grandpa Pig's shed. Grandpa Pig cut the branches away and Mummy Pig emerged from the bush. Thank you, Mandy, Mummy Pig said. That was a great solution. It's a pleasure, Mandy said. Did you know you have blackberries on your forehead? Mummy Pig laughed. Let's go back to Granny Pig's kitchen and make the crumble, she said. Yes, they all cheers. Everyone cooked the fruit under Granny Pig's supervision. Then all eight of them ate huge bowls of crumble with sticky syrup. Congratulations, everyone, Peppa said, grinning. This is a great crumble. I agree, said Mummy Pig. But next time, let's stick to making it with just apple. That's the end.